This is called Vajrasana, for those of you who are interested. Take a moment, moving through your shoulders, even your head, your neck. And since we're moving through the core, let's bring some movement to the spine, the ribs, the belly. Reaching back and forwards. <clears throat> and then everybody, cross your fingers, stretch your palms straight up. Take a stretch. Breathing in and breathe out and push a wall away. Around your spine. Inhale, let's lift up. And exhale, push forwards. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, let's open up our fingers towards our side, even reaching behind us. Looking up, turn your thumbs back behind you. And as you exhale, let's twist towards the right. So just find your right knee with your left hand. Let this right hand dangle or hold your lower back. Let's take a breath. Slowly unwind, open. Exhale, twist to the left. <clears throat> Slowly unwinding here, come to center. Rest your hands on your thighs, your knees. Just give a little semicircle head roll to one side and to the other. I'm trying to soften any spaces there. They're stiff, they're tight. And then slowly come and roll your face forwards, bringing your wrists together. Just a little bit of wrist warm up before we come onto the, these palms. Connect your wrists, open a book towards yourself, and then start to roll these fingers. Wrists stay connected. And then it doesn't have to be a book anymore. It can be whatever you want it to be. Let's take it the other direction. Turn the book towards me, towards the wall in front of you. Beautiful. And then just crossing your fingers, draw a little figure eight. Beautiful. Let's stretch these wrists up to the sky once again. Inhale, exhale, lean to the right. Inhale, straight up, exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, straight up, let's draw a circle. Exhale to the right, forwards to the left. Inhale up, exhale to the left. Forwards, round your upper spine to the right. Ooh, yummy stretch. And up, release your hands and give your shoulders a shrug. <clears throat> And now you're gonna place your hands in front of you. Spread through your fingers. Your tops of your feet are, are down, so your toes are not tucked. From here, take a breath. As you exhale, push the ground away, round your spine, tuck your table and under. Inhale, bring your heart forward. It's like we're doing cat cows. Now bring your hands slightly closer to your knees. Over time, you might even notice they're right next to your knees. As we exhale, we're going to do the same motion of rounding, but try and push through your hands and lift your knees up. Squeeze your thighs to your chest and just let your head, your gaze relax. Inhale to slowly lower down and look forward, stretch the belly like you're doing a cow. Let's try again. Exhale, push with all your might, squeeze through your belly, lifting up. Stay. And inhale to lower. Keep going. We're doing a few rounds. It's totally fine if you just get, get your knees off an inch. If you can squeeze higher, lift your hips higher, go for it. Let's do all of us one more round just like this. Exhale, push away, empty out. And then inhale to lower down. A little challenge, can you lift one foot, one, uh, one of your feet, off of the floor with you? And keep that heel close to your glute. I'll do it with you. Inhale, exhale, push away. I'm going to lift my right foot off. Right knee to chest. 
Right heel squeezes in and lower down. Take that yummy breath in. Exhale, try your other leg. Squeeze in and slowly lower down. Let's try one more time on each side. Breathe in. Exhale. Recruit all the core muscles deep within and slowly lower. Inhale and exhale. Adjust your hands if you need wider, closer, maybe further apart, even though that's more hard. And slowly lower down. Walk your hands forwards, tuck your toes under. Take a moment to stretch the soles of the feet back. Just rock front and back. Just for a moment. That was quite tough. Spread it through your fingers. Lift your hips up. Take another moment to stretch through the legs. Walk your feet slightly back. Sway a little bit side to side. Beautiful. And now from here, shift forwards into your plank. Find a strong plank through the belly, through the legs. Bring right knee towards right armpit and slowly step back. Left knee to left armpit and step back. Just a few more rounds. Try not to let the body shift or pivot or sway too much. And then you're gonna have a moment to pause and relax through the arms. Let's do this last side. Stepping back. Walk your hands all the way towards the back of the mat. Soften knees, relax shoulders. Shake out your wrists. Give movement to your wrists. And sway a little bit from right to left. And walk your hands forwards once again. Into plank. Lower your knees down. Find your tabletop. Breathe in, exhale, hover your knees off the floor just an inch, and hold. Now, so this doesn't just become for the shoulders, really engage in that core, feeling the core is lifting your hips up, keeping them high. For three, two, and one, hips to the sky, push the ground away, Use these strong shoulders. Take a moment to breathe into your belly. Expansive breath. <clears throat> Beautiful. Inhale, sweep your right leg up. Exhale, place your right knee between your hands or somewhere between them, slightly behind, not in line with them. Inhale, you're gonna let your chest come forward like before. Exhale, push the earth away. And bring your, knee, your right knee to your chest, lifting up. Inhale, lower it down, and look forwards. Exhale, push away, round, spread up um, shoulder blades, and lift. Two more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, push. One more. Take your time with your breath. Step your right foot back. Down facing dog. Inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, left knee in between hands. Inhale, look forward. You can even come to your fingertips as you inhale. Exhale, plant palms, push away, lift knee to chest. And we lower. We breathe. We exhale, we push. We squeeze. Inhale, lower. Breathe, exhale, push and squeeze high. Last one. And exhale, lifting, squeezing with all your might. Step back, downward facing dog. We're not on our hands for too much longer. Shift forwards into plank and lift your right heel off the floor. Hold for three or two. And one, lower your right foot down, lift your left foot off the floor. For three, or two, for one, send your hips back to down facing dog. 
Walk your hands to the back of the mat. Allow yourself to fold. Relax to the shoulders. We've just got one more thing on our hands. Walking back to our downward facing dog. Shift forward to plank. Take your version of vinyasa that you like. Just lower to your belly. Bring your fingertips wide and draw a bit of opening through the chest, the heart. Inhale, peel your heart off. Exhale, lower down. Just one more. Inhale, lifting up. Stretch the skin of the belly. Exhale, lower. Hands below shoulders. Tuck toes. Can you push the plank as if you are a, a plank of wood? And then from here, hips to the sky. Downward facing dog. Send your hands just slightly closer to your feet. So just walk them one, one foot's width, one palm's width closer. Now from here, rise to your right fingertips. This is a bit of balance work. That's going to help us load with our core. See if you can reach your left leg to the sky. Now from here, you're on your right fingertips. Press down with your left hand and your right foot. Squeeze inner thighs. Begin to imagine that core as this active force keeping you here, keeping you stable. Slowly see maybe if you can lift your right hand by your right hip. So you're balancing on your right foot and your left hand. You should shake. It's not easy. Wobble a bit. See how long you can hold it. Come out, come in. And then slowly lower down foot and hand. Let's try the other side. Come to your left fingertips. Relax your head. Sweep your right leg to the sky. Squeeze that right glute in towards that left. And now come to uh, press on your left foot and your right hand. So we have this opposite little connection. See if you can reach your left arm by your left hip. Take it slow. Glide it along the mat. Lift it up. Feel that core do a bit of balancing. For three, for two, for one. <laughs> lower everything down, lower to your knees. Child's pose, relax your head. Take a few deep breaths. And then come back towards your plank. Doing the same thing, but in a plank. See if it's easier. Lift your left foot off. Now really pushing through your left hand and right foot. Come to your right fingertips. And see if you can lift your right arm overhead. For five, four, three, two, and one. Lowering down. Lift your right leg off. Squeeze the right hand and left foot. Squeeze to that core that's in the center. See if you can lift your left arm overhead for five, four, three, two, and one. Left hand comes down, right foot comes down. Send your hips to the sky and begin to walk your feet all the way towards the top of the mat. Slowly bend your knees, lower your bum all the way down. Use your hands. Take a moment rolling through your shoulders. Find your breath. Sweep your arms front and up. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hands behind you. Fingers facing forwards. Let's just stretch the hips and the heart up. Tailbone towards the back of your knees. And we lower. Finding our boat pose. Lift your shins off. Find your balance. And then reach your arms beside your calves, your shins. Shoulders back, long spine. I want you, imagine, you to imagine this V growing narrow. We want it to be a narrow V. All right? Inhale. As we exhale, squeeze your thighs together. Stretch your legs as you lower towards the tip of your, the bottom tip of your shoulder blades. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze knees to chest. 
Inhale, slowly lower. Exhale, squeeze. Power. Keep going. Just maybe two more. Exhale, everything lifts. One more. Breathe out. Beautiful. Step your feet down. Reach your arms up. Breathe in. And on exhale, slowly lower all the way down. Bring your palms together to touch. Step your feet down, hip distance, breathe in. On exhale, you're gonna reach your prayer palms to the outside of your right knee. Tap the outside and then lower. Exhale to the outside of your left knee. Tap and lower. Keep going at the pace that works for you with your breath. And if you'd like, you can stretch your prayer palms overhead first before lifting up. Beautiful, exhale as you lift. See if you can dive that prayer palm further out in front of the knee. Keep going, a few more rounds. Feel the twist. Squeeze palms together. Last round, one on each side. And from here, separate your arms, inhale. Exhale, just crunching all the way up to our seat again. Finding our Navasana posture. This time the knees can be slightly further away from us. Reach both hands, both arms to the outside of your right knee. Tap your palms together, breathe in. Exhale, open a window. Take it slowly, reaching your right fingers to the back, shaking, and then slowly close. Bring palms to the outside of your left knee. Open the window slowly. Looking back, and then close the window. Come to the outside of the right knee. One more each side. Open the window. And then close. And last time, left knee. Open, and then close. Slowly come through center, set your feet down, roll your back onto the floor, and come and rock towards your right hip. So you're on your right hip, make sure you're on your mat. Rest your right um, forearm down, so your right elbow is beneath your right shoulder. Now really engage through the legs. So spread these legs long, squeeze, so that there's less discomfort here. And if not, you could always roll the mat or bring a cushion underneath the right hip. Now from here, bring your left fingertips behind your head. You're gonna lift up these legs. So really lift them off the floor, squeeze in our thighs, push the ground away with your right elbow. Inhale, exhale, just your left knee is gonna squeeze and bend to your left elbow and then shoot it away. Exhale to squeeze in and shoot. The whole time we're keeping this right leg off the floor and we're pushing this right elbow away. Now try both legs. It's gonna need a different, a different angle. You might have to lean back a little bit more. Both knees come in, stretch away. Both knees come in, stretch away. Two more, beautiful. And one more. Slowly relax legs down. We're going to take this to side plank. So on your elbow, push your hips up. You can stagger your legs or stack them. Bring your fingertips behind your left ear. Inhale. Exhale. Left knee to left elbow. Inhale, reach away. Exhale, come in. Reach away. Three more. And reach. Two more. Final one. Slowly lower hips. Roll all the way on your mat to the other side. I'm gonna turn like this. Now from here, rest on your elbow. 
strong legs. Inhale. Exhale, lift these legs off the floor. Fingertips behind your, your head. Breathe in. And just the right knee comes in. Send it away. Right knee comes in. Send it away. Each time you come in, try and squeeze a little bit higher. Each time you send it away, try and lengthen a bit more. Beautiful. One more. And now roll slightly towards the left glute so it's not so painful, not so uncomfortable. And bring both knees in. Try to keep your knees glued together. Keep breathing with it. And you're just moving on your mat. Let's do one more. Beautiful. Lower down, take a stretch maybe. And then we're coming, going to come to our side plank. So make sure the elbow's below your shoulder. Push the ground away, setting up. Fingertips behind your head. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow. And reach. Knee to elbow. And reach away. Keep going. Three more. And two. Last one. Slowly lower hips down. Come into your back. Hug your knees in. Take a little rock left and right. Beautiful. And from here, bring your knees above your hips, arms overhead. This is one of my favorite ones, the dead bug. <laughs> Looks like a dead bug. So let's take it in steps. First, keep your legs where they are and just reach your arms overhead. We'll lift them up again. Reaching arms overhead and lifting them up. <clears throat> now, if you remember what we did in, the, in a few classes ago, it was as we exhaled, try to keep your ribs towards your pelvis. So inhale to lift. As you exhale, let the weight of your arms pull back and keep those ribs from kind of poking up. It takes a little bit of focus. So keep going through the motions. It helps to visualize your spine is strong, pressing against the mat. And if you're doing it right, you should be shaking a little bit. Now let's try just the legs one at a time. Reach your right leg away and lift it up. Reach your left leg away and lift it up. That's already quite a lot. So keep going. As you see it, send the leg away and notice how the body kind of wants to push and wobble in one side or the other. So try to keep that firmness, that stability. Point the toes or flex the feet if it helps. And now let's try opposite limbs. Send your left leg away and right arm overhead. Inhale to lift. Exhale, switch. Inhale to lift. And keep switching. Keep your lower back on the floor. Keep your ribs from completely flaring out like chickens. Beautiful. A few more just like this. Keep breathing throughout it, even though your body's working really hard. And one more on each side. Wonderful. Cross your fingers behind your head. Relax your head in your hands, breathe in. Exhale, stretch your legs long. Maybe just 45 degrees. Inhale, knees to chest. Exhale, stretching long. And knees to chest. Keep going, squeeze your thighs as you stretch. And squeeze in. Squeeze your, your thighs as you stretch. And squeeze in. Inhale, point your toes to the sky. Exhale, lower your left leg. 
and we scissor the legs. Right leg goes down and left leg. Right leg goes down and left leg. Keep going with the legs as you just separate your arms completely into a T shape. Wonderful. And soon we're gonna tap opposite limb to limb. So tap your left toes with your right arm and switch. Tapping, tapping opposite toes and twisting at the core. Just a few more. Trying to stay high up. We've got four, three, two, and one. Hug knees in. Bring knees wide. Soles of the feet touch. A little stretch for the hips. Grab a hold of your ankles. Breathe in. Exhale, lift your head. See if you can hold on to the outsides of your feet and pull your feet towards your face as you send your knees wide. Slowly lower down. Step your feet hips distance and your hips to the sky. A release for these hips. Finding bridge. And slowly lower down. Keep your feet down. Come to your elbows as your head remains heavy. And you're gonna push through your elbows. Maybe you even sit um, your bum on your hands. So you're locking your hands in place. Work your elbows towards one another and see if you can relax the top of your head, the top of your crown on the floor. And even if it doesn't go and you're kind of dangling there, enjoy the stretch. This little opening for your heart, completely countering all those crunching movements we were doing. Let me take a breath, maybe stretch your legs long if that feels good. You need to come out of this, slowly release your hands, work your elbows apart, and slowly touch your in. Relax head down. Open wide into a massive, massive star. Just rock your hips a little bit left to right. And then for the Shavasana, I invite you to keep your hips open. You can rest your hands on your belly or by your, your hip bones here. Or take soles of the feet together, knees are wide. Letting your whole space just relax. Openness, no tightness anymore. Invite softness where there was tension, where there was constriction or contraction. And by big, big breaths, instead of forceful, forceful little gasps. Let your breaths be soft, smooth, smooth sighs in and out. Slowly begin to step your feet down on the mat. Shift your knees from left to right. Bring some movement to the body. Take your stretch. <clears throat> then hug your knees in and begin to rock front and back into a seat. Crossing your legs. Inhale, open up through your arms. Big, big stretch and opening. A big hello to this Friday, into the weekend. Exhale, bring your body front and down. Bring your fingertips down, 
you can place palms together and just take a little, little moment here, bowing into yourself, into, into the earth, to thank yourself, your universe, your circle of life, of friends, of support, for your time, for your presence, for being there with you. Thank you all for joining me today.